All right, folks, today we are doing a Cleveland Brown seven-round mock draft. This is actually going to be the last group. We're going to do more than seven this week because I want to get the remaining teams that we have not done seven-round uh, seven mock drafts on, as well as the teams that don't have first-round picks. Um, but I don't want to have to halfway spill that into next week. So we're going to have several this week, um, starting with the Cleveland Browns. Uh, this is based on my first round mock draft, so the first pick has already been made. You can check that right over here. There's going to be a link if you have not seen that video yet, but um, otherwise, let's get started. With the first pick in the 2021 NFL Draft at pick 22, the Cleveland Browns select Jeremiah owosu Koromoa, linebacker, Notre Dame. So as I mentioned in that video, this is a great value. We had him at 17 overall. He fell to us at 22, so five picks later than he probably should have gone. Um, you know, not to say it's our only need or our biggest need even necessarily, but when a guy as talented as that falls to us with the versatility he has and the the benefit that he can bring to our defense, it was kind of a no-brainer for us to take Koromoa at 22. With the 56th overall pick in the second round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Cleveland Browns select Jalen Twyman, defensive tackle, Pittsburgh. Um... Overall, I would like to help the defensive line a little bit. Obviously, Miles Garrett is still a premier pass rusher in the league. I want to bring a little bit more help. I know Olivier Vernon has been coming on real strong at the end of this year. I don't know what the plan is, whether we're keeping him around, maybe give him a one-year or a shorter contract to get him to stay. He had a slow start to the season, so this little flare-up, it's kind of hard to say that we should keep him long-term. But even so, you look at Ogan Joby is a free agent in 2020. Vincent Taylor is a free agent, or excuse me, after 2020. And then Andrew Billings and Sheldon Richardson are in the final years of their contract in 2021. So there's a lot of bodies that are kind of heading out and, and usually you can't sign everybody. So I want to add some talent, add some depth, keep the bodies in there. And again, really the, the primary thing is to get Miles Garrett a little bit more help and, and also, you know, help against the run as well. With the 87th overall pick in the third round of the 2021 NFL draft, the Cleveland Browns select Elijah Molden, cornerback, Washington. Um, you know, Denzel Ward is, is a good corner. I'm, I'm kind of iffy on that. I'd love it if you jump in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts on Denzel Ward. Um, doesn't look like he's... I, I know when we first got him, the, the thought is this guy is, is unbelievably special. I don't know that we can say unbelievably special anymore. But quality cornerback, I think, is fair. Even so, there's not a lot outside of that. And um, I don't know, last time I checked, usually teams run more than one wide receiver. So I would like to bring a little bit more help. Washington, obviously, has, has produced some great corners over the years. So uh, we're going to bring in Elijah Molden at pick 87 at cornerback. With the 93rd overall pick in the third round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Cleveland Browns select Rashad Weaver, edge rusher, Pittsburgh. So second Pittsburgh guy along that defensive line, we're going to bring him as a pair, Jalen Twyman and Rashad Weaver. Again, this really is just, is you know, we've got a lot of guys leaving him. I, I do think Olivier Vernon is probably headed out. Um, again, we'll see how that all pans out, but um, it's Miles Garrett and nobody. And so we, we go from a situation of, I'm looking at the Browns as a really talented, real big up and coming team, uh, real scary football team, but you know, we got to keep things going and, and what I think could become a weakness, that defensive line and, and linebacker group, right? That that group there. We just added Coromo, Twyman, and Weaver. And so now I'm fairly confident. Obviously, you can't be 100% sure who's going to hit and who's going to miss. But I'm fairly confident that this is going to become a really, really big strength. I mean, if we can get two or three of these four guys to, to really step up and be great contributors with Miles Garrett in the mix as well as things are already going, offensive line, quarterback, wide receiver. It just could be a really – I mean, it's already a scary team. It's 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 going to be scarier. With the 101st pick in the fourth round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Cleveland Browns select Dayami Brown, wide receiver, UNC. Now, I know wide receiver isn't really an issue for you guys. Not only do you have uh, Landry and Beckham, but you got uh, DPJ over there real talented guy. Um, the bigger issue for me is I'm looking at Higgins, Hodge, Hall, Taylor, Natson, all free agents after this season in 2020. And so it, it becomes somewhat of a depth thing. Also, I don't know what the plan is necessarily, but just because a guy isn't a free agent doesn't mean that they can't be moved. And there's been a lot of talk, maybe not anymore. Once teams start winning, there's a lot less complaining and whining and whatnot. But every year, it seems like there's talk that 
Jarvis Landry could get moved. Odell Beckham could get moved. Uh, he's asking to be, you know, traded or whatever. It just feels kind of tenuous, right, that, that this unit is going to stick together for a super long time. So if nothing else, we've got to keep some bodies in there. You know, we need more than three wide receivers. Um, but also we're looking at potential upside in terms of, you know, if we end up losing a guy like an Odell Beckham or a Jarvis Landry, if they get too expensive, get too whiny and we have to move them, uh, a good trade becomes available and we can get some great compensation while we have enough, you know, if Donovan People jones and Jarvis Landry are a good enough uh, duo and you can get a first round pick or whatever from Odell. I'm just saying, we're keeping our options open here. So we're going to go ahead and get uh, Diami Brown, wide receiver out of UNC. With the 118th pick in the fourth round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Cleveland Browns select DJ Daniel, cornerback, Georgia. Um, we already did get a cornerback. We've got Elijah Molden sitting over there, but it, it's not just a talent thing for me. It's also a depth thing. Um, again, depends who stays and who goes, but we got two guys that are free agents currently, and then you got Ward and Stewart who are in the final years of their contract. Obviously, Ward is going to get re-signed. Actually, excuse me, you got three guys, um, Johnson, Mitchell, and Thomas, who are all free agents after the 2020 season. So, again, we're going to need more bodies in there. Um, not to say that, you know, he's a fourth-round pick. He can't come in and contribute and be a, a great cornerback for us. But regardless of the contribution, we're bringing in two corners so that we have bodies, we have competition, and at the end of the day, we're going to have a good cornerback group. And, and really, when you look at the, the total body of work in this draft class, we're setting ourselves up to have a, a really elite defense. You know, we've got needs at corner. We, we could take that from being kind of a eh, group to really being a dominant group. Um, and then the defensive front and the versatility with the kind of a, a Koromoa style linebacker that can cover and play the run. You know, if we, if we play our cards right and, and can coach this thing properly, th there's no stopping this team. No stopping it. With the 149th pick in the fifth round of the 2020 NFL draft, 21 NFL draft, excuse me, the Cleveland Browns select Divine Diablo safety. Virginia Tech, which is probably the uh, the best name in the draft. Uh, look, I mean, it's it's both a talent and a, a bodies thing. Um, you know, we do have Ronnie Harrison, who has proved to be a pretty solid contributor, third-round pick out of 2018. He's been decent, but even if we really like him, you know, we're looking at Andrew Sandejo on the way out, Carl Joseph and Tedrick Thompson possibly on the way out. Um, and Ronnie Harrison is, is in the final year of his contract, even if we decide to re-sign him. We got to get some guys in here. We got to get more bodies and we got to get more talent. You can say, well, we can re sign X, Y, and Z. How much money are you going to pay a guy that's not doing a great job? Um, you know, I know that that there are injuries and, and things. We got Grant Delpit on IR and everything else. Again, I just I don't like the unit and we need more bodies. So we're going to add somebody. If it, if it wasn't for that, we probably would have gone a little bit higher urgency. At this point, we're trusting that we do have enough guys that when they come back healthy, they can play. And this is a depth thing, but it, we, we may, depending on how this thing pans out, we may need people that can actually come out and start and play for us. So Divine Diablo at pick 149. With the 183rd pick in the sixth round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Cleveland Browns select Cade Otten, tight end, Washington. So we got two Pittsburgh guys, two Washington guys. Um, it's somewhat of a security pick, right? Uh, and Joku seemingly wants out. Uh, Hooper was a little bit of a letdown compared to what we were hoping he would come over and do. And Austin uh, and Bryant has not shown us very much by way of his talent level. So, you know, similar to safety, right? We got the guys to where you look at it and say, well, we don't need somebody. We got Njoku, we got Hooper, we got Bryant who's ascending. And, you know, we'll, we'll stitch together something that's a competent tight end. I don't know, man. It's the sixth round. Let's let's at least bring somebody in to compete, and, and let's see what we can figure out with this newer, more fuller group because right now it's just not working for me. Finally, with the 222nd pick in the seventh round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Cleveland Browns select Jordan Williams, defensive tackle, Clemson. Already touched on it. You know, we need uh, more bodies. We need more help. I think defensive tackle is one of those positions you can get in the later rounds and still get some level of production out of them. So, um, you know, we're, we're, we're just we're adding depth at this point at the defensive tackle position um, for all the reasons that I already laid out. So Jordan Williams, Clemson, 
to the Browns. That's going to do it for this Cleveland Brown seven round mock draft. I hope you appreciated it. I would love it if you would leave me a like. If you didn't like the picks, like it anyways, and then jump in the comment section and let me know what you didn't like, what you disagree with. I'm sure I missed a couple things. You forgot about this guy's on IR, et cetera, et cetera. It happens. It's a lot to process, but um, we're working our way through this, and, and all the comments and feedback you leave me is going to help out with a lot of these first round mock drafts that we got coming up. Um, in terms of making sure I make the right picks for your team. So uh, make sure you do that. Make sure you jump in the group. You maybe get an opportunity to make a pick for the Cleveland Browns. Uh, if you want to do that, just click the little join button down below. that will have more information on that for you. Otherwise, uh, I'll catch you next time.